lovelies, so today I am not feeling well and kind of in bed trying to deal with my pain and just get that under control and hanging out with my Bella, but um, I had to take some anxiety medication and I thought I would tell you a funny story actually now that I just think of it, but um, I play this game called Left for Dead. And, well, I don't play by myself, because that would be terrifying. But, I, if you guys didn't know this about me, I don't know if you guys knew this about me. I had to have mentioned it. Oh, I mentioned it in the 10 facts you may not know about me. Um, I'm obsessed with zombies. So, it's a zombie game. And I actually can play it, because I'm not a gamer <laughs> at all. And it took me a very long time to figure it out, and very patient people to teach me. But you can play with your friends, and so it's, like, really fun. Well, we played Realism. It's like a game mode that you can do, and I've never played it before. But I get lost everywhere, and in the Realism one, it doesn't show you where everyone is. Like, I can't be like, Anna, I'm right behind you, because I can't see Anna. So, uh, it's like, guys, I'm by a stairway, and I'm in a corner, and there's a zombie killing me. So I was um, unintentionally yelling <laughs> and to the point where my parents, like what's awesome about our house and why we get along so well is my room is on the entire other side of the house. Um, I ha There has been times where I have screamed to my mother in the middle of the night because I'm ill or I cannot get up or I cannot move, but they actually heard in their room me screaming like a lunatic and came in and I had earbuds in so I couldn't even hear her. I didn't even see her until I saw her in my periphery. She was like, oh my gosh, Emily, are you okay? So anyways, I was getting rowdy and I kept telling my friends that Bella was alerting me because Bella thought that I was having a panic attack and that I needed to take my medicine. <laughs> Which is funny. I mean, it's not funny, but it is really funny. But um, it actually is like a huge stress reliever for me. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's like chopping the zombies in half. I don't know. Maybe I have rage that I have like inside of me. I don't know. It's just really fun and a fun activity. And um, But yeah, it was a lot for Bella to handle. <laughs> she just kept alerting me, leaking my mouth. And I'm like, Bella, get out of my mouth. I need to kill zombies. Um, just the fun stories about torturing your therapy dog. Great. Uh, so yeah, I didn't really have anything to talk about today because, yeah, this anxiety, feeling depressed, um, my sleep's been really, really weird, just going to sleep, waking up, not being able to sleep, testing these medications, it's just really annoying and difficult and keeps me in bed a lot of the times that even I'm not in a lot of pain so that sucks majorly and um yeah so that's that and um I've been having a lot of pain when I wake up so it's been taking me hours to wake up to like actually wake up and be able to like walk around and like a ton of stretching and Ugh, it's just so hard and like you're like do you take medicine do you not take medicine because like sometimes it's just that like morning stiffness that's gonna go away but it feels like you're dying when it's happening but since it's been hours and hours and hours it's kind of like well maybe this is just like flaring again or something I don't know it just sucks so that's a little pain update for you guys about how awesome I'm doing. Now, the main thing, as I've mentioned before, is, no, some, as much as possible, I'm positive and trying to keep positive and doing things that I think are fun and being around people that I think are fun and, um, playing zombie games. So, uh, I just got some really hard news. It wasn't difficult necessarily. It was just hard. My first dog ever, um, Persephone or Percy, we call her, she is just getting old and she just came back from the vet. And so like, it seems like every time they come back from the vet when they're older, it's just like, 
bad news. And then my mom was like, well, she has her heart murmurs getting much worse. And um, she is like the sweetest dog ever. She's like, she's like one of those, those kids, like if people had like a first angelic child, like my brother was, they had a second, which is me. And I was not angelic whatsoever, which is why I don't have another sibling. But she was like the perfect dog. She still is. She still like protects everybody and looks after everyone. It's just the sweetest, cutest dog ever. And um, so it's just really hard to hear about that because she really, she's my first family pet. We had them before I was born, but not after. So my brother's had a family pet with my parents because he's eight years older than me, but I've never had one. So... Um, I think my computer is in my glasses right now. Um, but anyways, so it's just, it's just tough. It's not bad news. It's not like she's going to die, but my mom was like, yeah, she should probably just like go in her sleep some night. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm going to look for her every morning and make sure she's alive. That is, I mean, I want my dog to like go that way, but at the same time, it's like a little bit terrifying hearing about it. So I don't know, but maybe that's what's kind of made me depressed because I just want to burst into tears every five seconds, but that's a bit melodramatic because there's not actually anything going wrong with her. It's just that she, things are getting more difficult and she's panting and I don't know. My mom told me all the stuff that's going to kind of go downhill and blah, I just don't want to hear that. We have four amazing dogs and Percy is going to be the second hardest. We have uh, six pets and Percy is going to be obviously the second hardest for me um, Bella is going to be catastrophic I, don't, I can't even think about that my friends like get worried when we talk about it so yeah but she's my little she's my little sweet angel she's just so sweet okay anyways that was supposed to be a really quick hello because I'm not going to edit this at all so I hope you guys are having a pain-free, stress-free day. In the comments down below, please let me know how you're feeling. And I'm sending out X double O's to you guys. And I am appreciating guys' comments and um, messages. Thank you, Julie, for the video. Um, amazing. Uh, it just means the world to me. And like, I don't know how much I can express it to you guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want more of these types of videos, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe. I put out videos every single day for 365 days. The ups and downs of chronic pain and all the things in between. So I will talk to you guys as always tomorrow.